So um, I haven't done a video in a while, and uh, this is going to be a quick one. Um, a lot happened to me uh, over the last uh, couple months since I've done videos, and uh, I want to try to get back into sharing uh, some of my thoughts. But usually, as as always, I, I do videos when people upset me and piss me off, and then I finally grab my camera. So I'm using not my flip camera this time; I'm using my new webcam that I got. So I want to test it out with this video. So um, here's the thing: so I'm having a dialogue, or uh, I'm trying to have a conversation with a, a theist here. And um, they're trying to explain free will. And, and here's the thing that's wrong with religion. And I don't have any notes or anything. I'm just kind of going off the top of my head here. But here's, the, here's what really bothers me about religion is that it convolutes people's ability to think. Okay? Like, because the way you're supposed to think about things is you start with, I know nothing. And then you take in information, you value that information, you evaluate, excuse me, you evaluate that information, and then you come up with an answer uh, based upon the information you're given. And then you leave that open to when more information comes in, you then take that information, apply it to what you already know, and either you change your mind because of new information, or you or that or you disregard that or it strengthens your original argument. Um, but with religion you start off with this God is true and therefore there is a God and it has to be a God and Christianity or whatever religion you're looking at is true and then when new information comes you have to twist and do these mental jumping jacks to to make what you believe correct and and this is why there's wars and this is why the, these people are, are just convoluted so let me let me read the comment written to me uh, we're talking about free will okay and this person is I, I tried to explain that you can't have free will if you're an if you're a god I'm giving the I'm giving the premise that there's a god a premise that there's a god all right so if there's a god it's all powerful and wants to give you free will okay and this comes a little bit from from Hitchens turn my phone off here so um, is that you're going to offer you're going to give free will to um, to this person and say, okay, you now have free will. Here's this being, I'm going to create it. And he's talking about how God knows everything, the present, the future, and the past. So I'm, a, so I'm, the, uh, so I'm God. I know everything. And I'm going to create this being, okay, and give it free will. And it has the free will to choose to do whatever it wants, all right? However, I already know, because I am God, uh, that it is not going to do anything that I ask it to do. It's going to be a murderer, killer. It's going to uh, forsake me. It's going to do everything that I don't ask it to do. Okay, But I'm giving it the free will to do it. Uh, I know it won't do it. And I'm going to punish it Okay, for doing what I know it's going to do. Like I know this, this, this being is not going to listen to what I tell it to do. So where is that free will where is the free will in this okay if i know that this thing's going to do certain things and i i know i'm going to punish it then why bother creating it okay unless you believe you and then and then in the same sentence they say well god is a loving being great so what loving being knows that its creation is going to be punished for the rest of eternity and then still creates it how is that a loving caring being maybe it loves torture it loves setting examples i guess I, I don't know so so here's the comment that was written to me here just just i'm just going to read it word for word and do the mental gymnastics that this person is going through okay opportunity sir every day that you're living in this life you're given opportunity to choose to love him have faith in him and a relationship with him but if you do not you want to do uh, if you but if you don't you want to do things your way then fine then then fine it, it says fine so f then fine sir it's your choice okay i'm going to try to correct the grammar okay so he's still here so why would he want you to to make that choice that's what hell is is separation from god okay again i'm a, i'm trying to read this the way it's written but I have to make grammatical uh, and uh, uh, corrections as I'm speaking, which is fine, by the way. I make all kinds of grammatical errors when I'm uh, writing in comments as well. So I'm not uh, judging this person based upon uh, their 
poor sentence structure and spelling mistakes. So, uh, so let me try this again. So he's still here. So why would you want, why would he want you to make that choice that's hell, which is separation from God? God isn't there anymore. The opportunity is gone. And from that, people, man, everybody's calling me today. Uh, and from that, people reject God when given opportunity to get the opposite of God, which is evil for eternity. Okay. If you didn't understand what the hell that meant, neither did I. All right. I, I'm going to try to decipher it. I, I just, it just doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Um, so God, so evil is the separation from God. Hell is the separation from God. Um, okay. What, what does that mean? I don't understand. Doesn't God already understand that I'm going to be separated from him? Uh, and then why create me in the first place if he already knows? And, and what kind of free will is that? Okay. Here's your free will. You have a choice. You um, you can leave this cookie alone, okay, uh, and don't touch the cookie, and that's what I'm telling you to do. Or you have the free will to pick up the cookie and eat it, but if you do, I will beat you in the head with this hammer. <laughs> okay? So I'm giving you free will. You have the choice to do anything you want. You can eat the cookie or no. Oh, you're not? Well, I, I love you. Okay? You eat the cookie? <clears throat> okay, there you go. Well, I gave you a choice. You had a choice. Free will. Okay, you chose to get your head beat in with the hammer. Uh, that was your choice. Like, really? That's your God. That's really what you worship, and that's and, and that's love. That apparently is love. <laughs> so, you eat a cookie, we bought, but not only, but in my sense, I would just beat you with the hammer and you would die. In God's sense, he would beat you in the, with the hammer for all eternity, uh, forever and ever. Uh, with no recompense because you ate that cookie, you know, because you did something that I said I did not want you to do. So just this is the mental gymnastics that Christians have to go through. And somehow they find a way to make it make sense to them. And, it, and that is what's scary because it doesn't make sense, but they find a way to make it make sense and they can reconcile that in their brain. And this is what, um, this is why people should not be a part of religion.